EA Sports. It's in the game. Hi, I'm VJ Singh. EA Sports. It's in the game. Tiger Woods, PGA Tour, 2006. Pebble Beach Golf Links, the perfect marriage of land and sea that many have called one of the most beautiful places on earth. Hello again, everyone. I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. My colleague David Faraday is with us today and will be calling the action down on the course. Let's send it down to the first tee. Great swing. This could be close. Can you believe that shot? Putting for birdie. And to polish it off? If you find the fairway on this short par five, you might be able to reach the green in two. Another option is to lay up short of the deep bunker or barranca that's hidden 75 yards from this green. This ball is absolutely, positively crushed. Be the number. It hit the pin. Hey, it's, here's a trick. A slight draw around the corner of this dog leg left leaves you in a perfect position for a short pitch to the green. If you play it safe to the far right of the barranca, be prepared to contend with the bunkers flanking the right side of the green. Swing on this tee shot. This should find the green. Well, it's okay. Not brilliant, but okay. At least we're dancing. Is it going in? That's drained, baby.
A long iron or three wood to carry the long bunker in the center of the fairway is your best bet on this short uphill par four. Leave it below the hole here with your second shot and par is an excellent score at the fourth. Come on, let's see if that weight training's paying off. Go for the green. Excellent swing right down the center of the fairway. Are you kidding me? Opened for play in November of 1998, this spectacular new addition is sure to test your mettle. Designed by Jack Nicholas, this beautiful new par 3 sits naturally upon the bluffs overlooking Stillwater Cove. The safest play is to the left center of this green. Nothing wrong with that. Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. Looking really good. It's all good. The best spot to put your tee shot here on this par 5 is the left center of the fairway. Your second shot is blind up the steep slope, so watch out for the two long bunkers on the left side of the landing area. There is a signature shore pine tree right behind the green, and it's a good target to aim your second shot. Nothing wrong with that swing. Just a touch under two bills here, a tough shot. Bite. Oh, it hit the pin. Six birdies in a row. This game is getting too easy. But time to put a trophy ball in your cage. There are no words that can describe the seventh at Pebble Beach, the shortest and possibly the most beautiful hole in championship golf. Knock down a short iron and keep the ball from ballooning in the breeze. Take a moment to soak in the beauty of your surroundings. This is right at the flag. Okay, we don't have to worry about putting that one. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. Back-to-back -back eagles. You lucky swine. That calls for a special trophy ball. Congratulations, that chip earns you a special reward. I will not insult you for the next 10 seconds. Congratulations on that hole-in-one. Here's a...
it's absolutely crucial to find the fairway with what probably will be a three wood or two iron hit blind from the tee. Unfortunately, however, there's not much fairway to find. Those who hit safely will face a middle iron over the waves. Those who don't probably will play for bogey. This one might never land. Yes! Get tight. This would be an amazing eight straight birdies. This is going to be close. Cash is that one in. The ninth at Pebble Beach is perhaps the toughest hole on the course. Take aim at the left center of the fairway, hit it long, and beware of the bunker on the left. There is a deep bunkered gully left and short that will punish any kind of a limp or timid approach. He just made a statement with that swing. Yes! David, why are those guys ducking down on the green? That's a flock of seagulls, I believe. That's the way we like it. This for a ninth consecutive birdie. Dead on. A strong tee shot to the left half of this fairway will leave you with a medium iron shot. Take enough club on your approach to carry the inlet on the right. Watch out for the bunkers left and long because they will capture any kind of errant shot. The green slopes toward the ocean from left to right. We got all of that one. Down, down! That's a good shot. This attempt for a 10th straight birdie. Well, look at this! Made it! The tee shot must be hit blind to a landing area that is only 28 yards wide. On the approach, only the front left of the green is visible. The green slopes severely from back to front. A chip or even a putt could easily run right off the putting surface. This should play well from here.
Yes! Get all over it. This one looks good. This for 11 birdies in a row. Fantastic putt. That's in the hole. The staggered bunkers in front of the 12th green give a false perspective on this long par three. Club selection is key in approaching this wide but shallow green. Get close. Oh, what a shot! This putt would make it 12 straight birdies. That's a birdie. Impressive work. Have a trophy vote. The 13th at Pebble Beach is an uphill par four that plays longer than the yardage. Line up over the right edge of the fairway bunker and try and hit some kind of a draw to get it as far up this fairway as possible. Hit it to the right side of the flag and it should break down to the left. This is exactly what he was trying to do here. That'll be in good shape. Not shabby, not a great shot, but we're putting. This for a 13th straight birdie. Very, very nice. It's in! This dogleg right par five is usually a three-shotter for most people. A well-placed bunker on the right will capture any kind of a cut tee shot, and you have to hit as much club as possible on the second shot so that you leave yourself a shorter shot into this very severe little par five green. Find a way to eagle this hole and you'll hold the record for most eagles in a round. I hope you took your vitamins this morning. You'll need everything you have to make green and two here. Could be trouble. Get lucky. Come on, Tiger. What is that? Woods would like to make par on this hole. Nothing wrong with that par.
This medium length par four sets up perfectly for an accurate tee shot. A well-placed drive in the center of the fairway will leave you with a medium to short iron from the down slope. Remember the location of the ocean left as putts will move in this direction. Concentrate now, you could set a new birdie record here. This should do the trick. Get all over it. This isn't out of your range. You can do it. It's in the hole! Aim directly over the island bunker with a three wood or long iron. Don't try to cut the dog leg here. The right side is really dangerous. Hit your approach shot to the right side of the green just like you did on 13 as all these balls will break to the left. Get birdie on this hole and you'll set a new birdie record. This isn't looking good, I'm afraid. Come on. If it's in the rough, it's in the rough. Could be much worse, though. What is that? Tiger for par. David, let's call this one done. That's a great up and down for par. Take aim directly over the island bunker with a three wood or long iron. A driver may leave you with a difficult downhill, side hill lie, or worse yet, in the deep rough through the fairway. Hit the approach to the right side of the green as all shots will slide left. That'll do it. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. This looks pretty good. Made it! Perhaps the most famous finishing hole in all of golf, set up for three shots on this hole and enjoy the walk. The best tee shot is to the left of the trees in the center of the fairway. Your short iron onto the green must carry the frontal bunker. And finally, putts will tend to break towards the sea. This is a tough record to beat. But if you find a way to make eagle here, you'll steal it. Now well, you've got a chance to hit it really close. Well, got about 150 yards left here. Get tight!
perfectly played and a great chance for Eagle. You deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Gary McCord, welcoming you to the always challenging Pumpkin Ridge Golf Club. David Faraday is on the course with us today and will be following the players. Let's send it down to the first tee. Come on, Woody. Unbelievable. This is for Birdie. And that's a nicely played Birdie there. The only real threat at the second hole is over the green, and this is occasionally the case. Be careful with your club selection here. Short is way better than long. Get lucky. A lot of work left to be done on this hole. For a second birdie in a row. The fun starts here. It takes two good shots just to get it on the green. The bunkers on the right off the tee set up the second shot, and the little waterfall at the green warns that no matter what, don't miss it left. The green is one on which you can't afford to be long. The slope back toward the front is intentionally fast. This approach looks good. Ooh, an absolutely perfect shot. Something you're completely unfamiliar with, McCord. Finds the hole in that birdie putt. Three under par. Four is a bit of a rest in that it is a par five, but pay attention to the flagstick position because there are a lot of chances to three putt if you don't get it into the general flagstick area. It's dramatically divided left and right. The right hole is harder to get close than the left.
well played. Now it's all clear for the hole from here. Well, we've got about 150 yards left here. Congratulations, that chip earns you a special reward. I will not insult you for the next 10 sec. Hey, a double eagle. That deserves some special recognition. Here's a trophy ball for hitting the pin. Keep up the good work. Five is the hardest par three at Pumpkin Ridge. It is not just pure length. There is water in front, and the right flagstick area is very shallow considering the length. It is backed up by bunkers. You can't be timid here. down here that's so good. McCord, I need a hug. Finds the cup for a birdie there. This tee shot is not tough. If you listen to the bunker through the fairway, you can cut a club or two off your approach if you turn it left and hit it far enough. Right to left and short will mean trouble. The second shot will make you think. There is a break in the green creating a raised back section that is very steep and a small pond below a wall awaits you to the left front of the green. Nice swing. Should be safely on the green. Oh, no. This for six birdies in a row. Nothing wrong with this. That's drained, baby. Six birdies in a row. This game's getting too easy. But time to put a trophy ball in your cage. Seven is where everybody goes to take pictures, but don't get distracted by the view. The old oak trees along the right side and the bunkers on the left are only asking you to hit it straight, and there is no doubt you can gain an advantage by doing that. You need to come to this green with the shortest possible club. He's going to like this one. Should be a makeable putt after this one. Pumpkin Ridge. I just like saying that. Pumpkin! Pumpkin Ridge! Little Halloween golfers all over the place. Where's the break? This isn't out of your range. You can do it. Look for this to go right. That's your birdie.
You get a breather at eight, so make a birdie. Favor the left off the tee. But if the hole is over the bunker, remember you will be better off in the bunker than up on the deck behind the hole. The hole is short, but the green is trouble if you don't get it close. Tiger Woods for birdie. Nine asks you to make a decision about where to hit your tee shot. The wind will help you make that choice and so will the hole location. The left route is obviously the shortest, but you can get in more trouble over there behind those 150-foot fir trees. The approach from the right is a lot less risky and more open, but much longer. The green is not difficult. Not a terribly long shot, but uh, this'll do. Get all over it. This for a ninth consecutive birdie. Let's see if this has got enough to get there. It's in! Ten is a tough three, as much for its length as anything. But the tees were kept low and the bunker caps high just to make it more difficult to feel the shot. This was the 38th hole where Tiger Woods defeated Steve Scott in the 1996 U.S. Amateur Championship in Sudden Death Playoff. Get close! Can you believe this? This attempt for a 10th straight birdie. Yes! Eleven is a fun hole. If you can't get by the bunker on the tee shot, the second landing area across the bunker becomes very strategic. If the hole selection is to the right, play left because it will be easier getting close with your third. If the hole is left, play to the right, over or even short of the bunker. This hole is actually in the back. This should set him up perfectly for the next shot. Just paste this one off and it's right on about 220 yards. On the green and two! Woods looking to knock this in for Eagle. Hey, it's your first eagle. You deserve a trophy ball for that.
12 is not too long and doesn't appear to be difficult. But in case you wonder what it's like to stand on the tee at 12 at Augusta National, this is pretty close. It is in some ways a mirror of that great par 3. The swirling wind around the tall trees does some strange things to high shots, and the shape of the green angles away from the player at least a half a curl on the far left, which isn't obvious from the back tees. This is a very, very long putt. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. This breaks left. It's a guess, but one based on years of exceptionally bad putting. Oh, God. I admire you. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. 13 has a tee shot that can break up your day. The second is not too tough, but if you don't nail the ball, you won't have much chance at a birdie. Favor the left side, the way the bunkers show. This is the way to keep the ball in play. Should have a good chance from there. Well, some work to be done with the putter now. This for a 13th straight birdie. Very long putt here. That's a nice putt. Converts his par. Fourteen is a par four and a half. The green has lots of trouble, water, wetlands, and bunker, but it is just deep enough that you shouldn't hesitate if you hit a good tee ball. If you don't, attempting a three wood at this green is just about the same as jumping off the clubhouse roof. Then be smart, lay up and try and pitch it close for the four. Fairway Faraday, I think this should be in good shape. Look at this, going for eagle now. Going for eagle on this par five. Marvelous eagle there. Fifteen is a little bit of a breather, but you should be sure of the club selection and try to play to the hole because there are some breaks on the green that might spell three putt from more than 30 feet. Oh, that is so good. 
Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. Found the hole for a nice birdie there. Now you have to play some golf to get to the house without having a wreck. 16 is often two big pokes into the wind and the green rolls back right. The bunkers on the right of the green get a lot of business. He just made a statement with that swing. This looks good, should be safely on the green. Tiger Woods for birdie. I wouldn't be surprised by anything here. Yes! The 17th fairway is well-defined with bunkers, and the ball will stay in the short grass if you hit it well off the tee, which will leave a fairly short club to the green. It is a punch bowl, which means anything on the putting surface will roll back toward the center. But if you miss the green, miss it big. Birdie or better on this hole, and you'll hold the record for most birdies in a run. What a shot! Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. 18 is unique. The hole revisits almost all the features of the first 17 and causes decision making from the tee to the final putt. Keep it left because the angle on the second shot will be much better. If you go big off the tee, you might have a chance to get there in two. Most of the time it will be position on the second, which is not bad considering the left side of the green basically goes off the earth. Yes! By hitting all the fairways, you've definitely earned this trophy ball. Just a touch under two bills here, a tough shot. Where's the break? Fight! A pretty flawless round. That's hitting every green in regulation. This for five in a row. This is the left side of your brain speaking. This is going left. You're really rolling it today. Great putting. Great job hitting all the greens in regulation. You definitely deserve a trophy ball. You deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. 
Congratulations on a great score. We're in Las Vegas, and I'm still Gary McCord, despite what I lost on the tables last night. Reflection Bay Golf Club is where we're playing, and Fairway Ferdy is ready to call the action down on hole number one. Hey, David, you still got your shirt on? No complaints about this shot. Yes! Break out the putter. This one should be close. Couldn't have planned it any better. This for Birdie. Got to be happy with that Birdie. Got to be happy with any Birdie. The second hole is a par four that tees off with an obscured view of the flag. The rolling fairway is split by an island bunker about two thirds of the way to the pin. The green is surrounded by OB, so keep your approach shot on target or you'll be over par before you know it. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. This for an eagle, too. This could get a little tricky. Hey, it's your first eagle. You deserve. The third hole at Reflection Bay is a relatively wide par 5. Hit your drive towards the flag, but be wary of the approach shot. The green is protected by a bunker to the left front, so aim right if you prefer to play safe. You don't see many drives as good as this one. A chance for Eagle after a remarkable shot. Woods looking to knock this in for Eagle. Marvelous Eagle there. Back-to-back -back Eagles, you lucky swine. That calls for a special trophy ball. Hole four, the first par three at Reflection Bay, offers little room for error. Aim true, or your shot won't find the narrow green protected by bunkers to the right and left. This should be all right. On the green, at least.
Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. The fifth hole at Reflection Bay is a shorter par five than the third hole. There is a wide landing area off the tee, but watch out for the fairway bunker along the right edge on your second shot. The safe approach shot is to the right of the green to avoid the large bunker protecting the pin to the left. This should do the trick. slope of five iron. Come on. Well, not a particularly long putt, not a short one either. That's drained, baby. The par four sixth hole offers a narrow landing area off the tee. Make sure to avoid the fairway bunkers to the left and the OB to the right. The small green is guarded by bunkers on the left and right side. If anything, keep your approach shot long and avoid having to hit from the sand. Oh, he's got all of that one. Just crushed it down the fairway. It's on its way and it's looking good. This for six birdies in a row. Dropped it, no problem. Six birdies in a row, this game's getting too easy. But time to put a trophy ball in your cage. The seventh at Reflection Bay is a par four that dog legs slightly to the right. Players must decide whether to lay up or drive it deep. The entire back side of the hole, even running up to and around the green, is sand and water, so pinpoint accuracy is needed. This one's heading into orbit, should re-enter the Earth's atmosphere somewhere over the South Pacific about 4 o'clock Tuesday morning. Be right. Ooh, an absolutely perfect shot. Something you're completely unfamiliar with, McCord. That's what you want. Nice birdie. Here, birdie, birdie, birdie.
Water, water everywhere. The safe play is to lay up to the right of the flagstick on this tiered green, but safe play doesn't garner birdies. This should be on the green. This would be an amazing eight straight birdies. Looking good. That one's in the hole. The ninth hole is a par four that dog legs to the left. With water all along the left edge and fairway bunkers in the dog leg crease, the player must carry these hazards to ensure the modest approach shot. The picturesque green is surrounded by palm trees. Ferdy, that one just ignited in his hands. Great finish for Birdie. Driving off the tee at the 10th offers a wide landing area over an even wider expanse of water. Drive too hard and you'll find the fairway bunkers. Drive too short and you'll be wet before you know it. The approach shot is back over the water to a wide but shallow green with bunkers behind the pen. I'm starting to wonder if you got what it takes to hit the green. He's got his work cut out for him from here. It is indeed rough, but it could be much worse. This attempt for a 10th straight birdie. Well, when it starts to slow down, this one's just going to wander off to the left. That's in the hole! This par four hole features extensive natural beauty along the right edge of the fairway. Keep your tee shot left in order to avoid the OB and maintain accuracy on your approach shot in order to reach the green which is well protected by bunkers in the rear and to either side. Nicely played on this one. Congratulations, that chip earns you. This par three offers some room for errant shots in front of the green, but don't hit it long or you'll be OB before you know it. Should be in good shape after this.
Tiger Woods for birdie. This looks very good. Made it. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. The 13th. One more little tweeter on this hole, and you'll hold the record for most in a round. That could make the green. A uh, two putt would be quite an achievement from this position. This for an eagle two. Get out the map and the compass. It's a long way to the cup from here. Not a good stroke at all. This for a 13th straight birdie. Yes. Keep your tee shot straight and long at the par 4 14th in order to clear the fairway bunker and maintain a clear approach shot at the pin. The green is wide but isn't deep, so don't over club it into the OB. Oh yeah, this is headed for the green. This would be 14 birdies in a row. Well, look at this. It's all good. The par 5 15th at Reflection Bay is a dog leg left that features a fairway cut in half by natural hazard. Tiger Woods might be able to clear the ravine, but can anyone else? The safe play is to lay up with a long approach shot into a tricky green guarded by several medium sized bunkers. Okay, green light for flag hunting from here. Be the number. Great shot. He's got to be pleased by this. Now that's what you call being on target. Set up nicely for an eagle attempt on this par five. A little luck never hurts. Nice eagle. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. This par four hole bends to the right off the tee. Make sure to avoid the fairway bunkers by either aiming left or clearing them all together. The approach shot is to a large green with minimal protection to the right and left. <laughs> Fairway Faraday, he should be happy with this one. Yes! Oh, 
Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. No, oh, that's good value. The 17th at Reflection Bay is a beautiful par 3 that offers the player sweeping views of the water. The peninsula green is protected by very large bunkers. Club accuracy is important. Get all over it. trophy ball for hitting the pin. Keep up the good work. The finishing hole at Reflection Bay is simply breathtaking. This par 5 forces the player to keep their tee shot out of some strategically placed bunkers in the middle of the landing area. The approach shot is easy enough as long as you are accurate. Otherwise you'll find yourself in a bunker or worse in the water. Find a way to eagle this hole and you'll hold the record for most eagles in a round. Yes! I think I'd like to be closer. I'm about 180 yards away. On in two and putting for an eagle. Tiger Woods for eagle. Well, might make about three out of ten from this range. What an eagle! You deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. Home of the 98 PGA Championship, the Sahali Country Club has earned top 100 distinction from nearly every major golf publication. Hello again, everybody. I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. My colleague David Ferdy is ready to call the action today, so let's send it down to the first tee. He drilled this tee shot right where he wanted it. This looks good, should be safely on the green. Looking at a big birdie putt here. Look for this to go to the right, huh, David? Looking good. Oh, that's good value. This dogleg left par five sets up well for those who can draw it off the tee. The fairway is lined on both sides with giant firs, 
and any attempt to reach this green in two will demand a second shot that'll carry the leg fronting the green. A bunker guards the left side of the putting surface. Ooh, I'm afraid he's put this in the trees. Pulled it right into the tall stuff. This one didn't make it through the tribal council, Gary. I'm afraid it's been voted off the island. What is that? Oh, I'm weeping down here, that's so good. McCord, I need a hug. Don't blow this. That's your birdie! The tee shot on this par four leads to an uphill fairway. The green is large and provides a good target with bunkers both right and left to catch any errant approach shots. Okay, no problem there. Well, got about 150 yards left here. Get close. Well, it's okay, not brilliant, but okay. At least we're dancing. This will make it three straight birdies. Look for this to go right. Oh, what a shot. The character of Sahali shines brightly through the pines on this slight dogleg right par four. There are some tall trees even in the fairway on this hole, and a tree and a bunker protects the right side of the fairway. The approach is to a two-tiered green that requires a soft landing shot. Might have gotten a little loose on that swing. Yes! Get lucky. This is a birdie putt. Makes his birdie, and now he's four under par. This par three's tee shot features a lake to the right of the green, as well as bunkers on each side. The wind may play a factor here at number five, as the trees are much more sparse.
fight! Putting for birdie. Not a straight in putt here. Ah, this looks good. There's a birdie to take it to five under. The fairway on this uphill hole is lined with three bunkers on the right and one on the left. The second shot is uphill and needs to carry a large bunker in the right front of the green. It's going, going, gone. He ripped it. Okay, we've got a green light for the flagstick from here. Eagle attempt coming up here. Tiger Woods for Eagle. Whoa, miracles do occur. Six birdies in a row, this game is getting too easy. But, hey. This straight, slightly downhill par four has a tree-lined fairway. The green which undulates around the edges is surrounded by three bunkers that closely border the edge of the putting surface. That was masculine. Great swing. That's just a wonderful shot. This would be seven straight birdies if it goes in. That was for birdie. This dogleg right par four may be the toughest hole on the course. The tight fairway puts a premium on accuracy. If you pull it too far left, you might find the sand. The approach shot can be tricky as well, with multiple bunkers protecting the green, which is pitched from back to front. He played this very nicely down the fairway. Uphill to the green? Try a four iron from here. Well, it's not spectacular, Gary, but it is on the putting surface. This would be an amazing eight straight birdies. No reason to get greedy here. So close. Converts his par.
This scenic par 3 has a large lake which borders the left side of the green and has additional bunkers on the right and left side, making the green could prove to be challenging. Get tight! I would be very happy to see just getting it close. It'd be a good effort to get this one anywhere near the hole. Can you believe this? The placement of your tee shot is vital on this par four dog leg to the left. A powerful drive can set up a chance at a birdie, but the well-protected green is surrounded by an eye-pleasing horseshoe-shaped lake. Absolutely crushed. Yes! Down! Down! Congratulations, that chip earns you a special reward. I will not insult you for the next 10 seconds. Here's a trophy ball for hitting the pin. Keep up the good work. A well-placed draw around the trees on the left side on this par five fairway can lead to a nice birdie. This is heading straight down the center of the fairway. Just a touch under two bills here, a tough shot. Got to be happy with that birdie. Got to be happy with any birdie. This par four hole requires length and accuracy from tee to green. The fairway narrows around 250 yards off the tee due to two fairway bunkers. A tree on the right side can create a tricky approach shot. The green is relatively flat and has bunkers front right and left.
That'll do it. Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. Very nice indeed. This par three can be problematic if the wind is blowing. The green is guarded by two bunkers in front and one in the back. Hole placement toward the front will be challenging because the putt can be very slick coming back down the slope on this green. One more little tweeter on this hole and you'll hold the record for most in a row. Are you serious? Beautifully done. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. Congratulations on that hole in one. This short, sharp, dogleg left par four requires a very accurate drive. Cutting the corner here could mean trouble because if the ball misses the center of the fairway, it may roll to the right and your next shot will be blocked by a large tree. The green slopes upward, right to left. Concentrate now, you could set a new birdie record here. Don't be surprised if this one winds up on the rough. What is that? This should be on the green. Not dead on the stick by any means, but uh, made the green. It's respectable. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. Concentrate here. You can make this. No problem. With trees lining the fairway from tee to green, this straight hole with an elevated tee requires length and accuracy. A huge mound in the center back of this green will make for some difficult putts, particularly if the hole is cut in either of the rear corners. This is looking good. Get tight. Very far from the hole here. This would be seven straight birdies if it goes in. No, 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 that's no good. Slight miscalculation there. Woods would like to make par on this hole. Could have done with one less stroke on that hole. A short dogleg right the 16th hole requires a layup with a long iron or a fairway wood. The next shot must carry a large depression in the terrain to a two-tiered green. Everything slopes toward the left in front of the green, which is guarded by bunkers on the right front 
and left side. Here's a drive right down the middle of the fairway. The shot should find the green. Nothing wrong with that. Look at this ball roll. Made it. Yes. This hole is set in one of the most beautiful places on this course. An elevated tee looks down upon a large green with water in front that wraps around the right side. A large bunker parallels the green on the left, and the green rises slightly from front to back, making putts move quickly down the hill. Bite. Not shabby, not a great shot, but we're putting. This for birdie. Very, very nice. Right on the mark. The 18th at Sahali is a fantastic finishing hole, with par being a very good score. The view from the tee is of an uphill dogleg left. The approach shot is hit into a large two-tiered green surrounded by three difficult bunkers. A birdie here, and you'll set the record for most birdies in a round. Come on, Tiger. 230 yards here. You might want to send out for a pizza. Uh, we may be here for a while. Hitting every green in regulation. That's awesome. Tiger Woods for birdie. It's makeable, Gary. The right speed and the right line, and you got it. Ha! Yes. That'll usually work. Great job hitting all the greens in regulation. You definitely deserve You deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. This is Gary McCord for EA Sports, and welcome to the Pinnacle Golf Course at True North Golf Club, located in my hometown of Scottsdale, Arizona. David Faraday is staying at my house this week, so I'll check the china when he's gone, and I dropped him off on the first tee to get things started. Excellent swing right down the center of the fairway.
Come on, tiger. Unbelievable. The True North Golf Club offers a long, narrow par 5 for its second hole. Don't let your tee shot stray or you'll end up in the waste area before you know it. The second shot must carry a series of bunkers and the approach shot is to a protected green. No complaints about this shot. I think we've got about a hundred yards left here. A chance for Eagle after a remarkable shot. Looking for an eagle on this par five. There it is, an eagle. Hey, it's your. The third hole at the Pinnacle Course is a par four that dog legs to the right. The tee shot must contend with a twisting, narrow landing area that will test even the most seasoned player. The green is well protected by several bunkers on three sides. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. You don't see this very often. This is for two consecutive eagles. Marvelous eagle there. Back to back. E Hole four is the first par three to be faced at True North. With water and bunkers to the right, players often choose to play their tee shots safe to the left. This is for Birdie. Just an unbelievable play. The fifth hole at the Pinnacle Course is a narrow dogleg left par five. Although the landing area off the tee is narrow, the fairway is long enough to allow the player to put some real muscle into it. The approach shot requires a little more finesse with bunkers guarding the green to the left. He'll be pleased with this. Yes! Just a touch under two bills here, a tough shot. A 
It's on the green, and a putt for an eagle. In good position here to drop this one for eagle on the par five. Sinks it for an eagle. The par 4 sixth hole requires the player to carry a wide waist area off the tee. The landing area is wide, but players with enough power can go for this receptive green in one. Look for birdies on this hole. Oh, God, I admire you. This would be a rare feat. Back-to-back -back eagles. Unbelievable! That's four eagles today. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. Six birdies in a row. This game is getting too easy. But time to put... This is a beautiful par three with a well-protected green. The landing area is treacherous, so accuracy is at a premium here on the undulating seventh green. That's a good shot. This would be seven straight birdies, if it goes in. Look to the right here. Look at this ball roll. It's in! The eighth hole at the Pinnacle Course is a par five with a fairway sliced in half by natural hazards. The safe play is to lay up short, but an aggressive player with enough power will try and muscle it across and go for the green in two. The green usually isn't receptive to fairway wood approach shots given the waist lie and bunkers that surround it. Oh, he got all of that one. Okay, well, two under par is an eagle, isn't it? Wouldn't that be nice? It dropped for an eagle. The par 4 ninth hole features water along the left edge of the fairway and a wide landing area off the tee. Be sure to find the fairway or the second shot could prove difficult. This is the way to keep the ball in play. Be the number. Unbelievable! Here's a trophy ball for hitting the pin. 
The par 4 10th hole presents a great deal of waste lie for the player to contend with. The landing area off the tee is small, and attempts to hit this small green in one are rare. That's not the most accurate shot I've seen. It hit the pin! Bingo! It's in the rough. It's in the rough, but it could be much worse. Please, do your best not to blow this very makeable putt. Bravo! That's a well-played birdie. The 11th hole at True North Pinnacle is a par four that offers a long landing area for tee shots. The undulating green is a challenge for birdie, but doable for someone with strong putting skills. I couldn't have played this any better myself. This for an Eagle too. Give this one a ride. Fantastic putt. You deserve a little. This dogleg right par four is the 12th hole here at the Pinnacle Course. Be careful of hitting the first shot too far off the tee as it may find the fairway bunker. The undulating green is bordered by bunkers in front of and behind. This isn't looking good, I'm afraid. He didn't hit it that great, but he caught a break in the rough. He's in the rough. He should be okay here. Four par. Happy to escape with a par there. The 13th hole is a par five dogleg left. There is ample room to land the first shot, so make sure to keep your second shot in mind when teeing off. There are no bunkers in the vicinity of this wide green, so look for an opportunity to make birdie. Find a way to eagle this hole and you'll hold the record for most eagles in a round.
on in two and putting for an eagle. Tiger Woods for eagle. That's an eagle. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. This picturesque par 3 features a wide green that is protected by several bunkers. The undulation in this green will also present a challenge to the inexperienced putter. Yes! A birdie will help here. It usually does. That's not gonna drop. Oh, that'll never do. Can still save par by making this one. Well, I'll tell you more after the stroke. Can I read it then? Converts his par. The par four 15th hole at True North Pinnacle is a dog leg right with a fairway split in two by a natural hazard. Players must choose whether to lay up or carry the hazard with their tee shot. The green is set behind a collection of bunkers. whether this is asparagus, zucchini, but it's definitely some kind of vegetable. Congratulations, that chip earns you a sp The 16th hole at Troon is the last of the par threes. The rolling green is surrounded by scenic natural beauty and bunkers on all sides. Congratulations on that hole in one. Here's a reward. The par four 17th hole is a dog leg left split fairway. The aggressive player will try and clear the natural hazard with their tee shot, but most players will opt to lay up short. The green is perched behind two opposing bunkers. One more little tweeter on this hole, and you'll hold the record for most in a round. Nice. Woods can really capitalize here if he can knock down the eagle. Concentrate here. You can make this. Whoa! Miracles do occur.
The finishing hole at the Pinnacle Course is a majestic scenic landscape, a real postcard for the natural beauty of the region. Tee shots will lay up short of the succession of fairway bunkers and approach shots will find a green tucked neatly behind two sandy beaches. Get birdie on this hole and you'll set a new birdie record. Oh, get out the smelling salts. I think I'm going to faint. You deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports, welcoming you to the Dubs Dread course here at Cog Hill. My partner, David Ferdy, is ready to call today's action, so let's get the day started at the first tee. Here's a drive right down the middle of the fairway. Get all over it. This one looks good. Tiger Woods for birdie. Now this has a real chance. Dropped it, no problem. This 180-yard par-3 features a green surrounded by bunkers. The tee shot must travel through a narrow entrance guarded by trees to a green contoured left in front, mounded in the middle and sloping away and back. Get close! for two straight birdies. Great effort here. There's a birdie to go two under. This par four, 424 yard hole requires accuracy off the tee. Most players are left with a challenging short iron second shot to a two-tiered green. A solid drive here.
This approach looks good. Still a lot of work left to be done here. For a third consecutive birdie. This is a long journey to the hole. So close. A solid par to remain two under. One of the toughest holes on the front nine, the 434-yard par four has a tight, sloping green surrounded by deep sand bunkers. He absolutely crushed this ball. Knocks it in to go three under. This hole used to be a 525 yard par five, but has been converted to a par four for tournament play. The second shot must negotiate bunkers in front of the green. with this. What is that? Look at the birdie. Four under now. A long par three at 242 yards, this hole features a two-tiered green that slopes to the front fringe, surrounded by five sand bunkers. This is the most difficult par three on the course. Unbelievable. Oh. 
Rolls in the birdie putt. This 425 yard par four dog legs right. The fairway is lined with trees on both sides with a large sand bunker blocking the primary landing area. Most players are left with a short iron second shot to the elevated green. No complaints about this shot. should be making a safe landing on the green. This has a chance. It's all good. With trees protecting the landing area on this 384-yard par 4, most players hit a long iron or fairway wood off the tee. The two-tiered green slopes forward and is guarded by deep bunkers. He's going to like this one. I couldn't have played this any better myself. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. Tiger Woods for Eagle. Take your time on this putt. We got some break to this one. That's an eagle. Hey, it's your first eagle. You deserve a trophy ball for that. The most difficult of the par fives, this hole has been lengthened to 600 yards with a tight, tree-lined fairway. The green slopes slightly from back to front. Oh, a good way to start this hole. Yes! Oh, this one's more than 240 yards, just miles from the hole. What a shot! Back-to-back -back eagles, you lucky swine! Six birdies in a row. Here's a trip. This 380-yard par four is a great birdie opportunity if the player misses the trees on both sides and lands his tee shot in the fairway. This could be heading for a sandy landing. Did somebody find my sandwich? You know, I was checking out the lie, but I got bored. So why don't you just hit it and we'll see what happens.
Get lucky. Well done. This would be seven straight birdies if it goes in. A great finish for birdie. Another good birdie opportunity, this 564 yard par five is reachable in two, but a sharp dog leg on the approach can make this small green tough to hit. There is out of bounds to the right, bunkers to the left of the landing area, and second shots to the green must carry the trees. David, he put a good swing on this. Yes! About 210 yards. Really easy to miss the green from here. It's on the green, and a putt for an eagle. This putt for Eagle. Can you believe this? A downhill par three with trees and out of bounds surrounding the backside of the green this 220-yard hole is guarded by deep sand bunkers. That'll be in good shape. this for a ninth consecutive birdie. It's on its way, and it's looking pretty good. This 482-yard par four was the most difficult hole on the course in 1995. The green is difficult to hit in regulation unless the tee shot is perfectly positioned in the middle of the fairway. Gusting winds can make the second shot tricky. This should work out just fine. This attempt for a 10th straight birdie. Looking good. It's in. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. The large green on this 192 yard par three slopes from right to left and is surrounded by sand bunkers. The key is to land the tee shot below the hole. Birdie or better on this hole, and you'll hold the record for most birdies in a round. This should be on the green. That's a good shot. Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. Give this one a wrap down the left-hand side and it should trail off to the right of the hole. Very, very nice. It's in the cup.
The 15th hole at Cog Hill Golf and Country Club is straight away with a slight dogleg right at the green. This 519 yard par five is a prime eagle opportunity. Make sure to take advantage of it. Get birdie on this hole and you'll set a new birdie record. Excellent swing right down the center of the fairway. This putt would make it 12 straight birdies. It's in! The 445-yard par-4 dog leg left has trees to the right of the landing area and a fairway that slopes to the left. The green is flat with trees and sand surrounding three sides. Find the screen in regulation, and you'll set a new record. This should set him up perfectly for the next shot. Inside a hundred yards, expect to see this one go close. This for a 13th straight birdie. Great looking putt here. Good, that's good value. This 420 yard slight dog leg right requires a tee shot in the fairway. Look for most players to hit a fairway wood or long iron for placement. You've been stiffing it all day. Hit one more green, the record is yours. Good ball here, David. This should work out great. What is that? Should be in good shape after this. Well, some work to be done with the putter now. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. What happened to your formal training? this to save par.
come on. A great finishing hole and the most difficult hole on the course. The fairway and green on this 480 yard par four both slope toward a pond on the left, often an unfortunate landing area for second shots. Not to psych you out, but one more green in regulation and you've got yourself a new record. Things might get a little dicey before we finish this hole. About a hundred yards to the flag. This is on the green, barely. This is for birdie. No slam dunk here. Oh, I'm weeping down here, that's so good. McCord, I need a hug. You deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. Welcome to beautiful Pasa Temple Golf Club. This is Gary McCord for EA Sports. My colleague David Ferdy will be calling the action down on the course. Let's send it down to the first tee. going so far he's going to need a flight attendant on it. Yes! About a hundred yards to the flag. Get lucky. Looking at a big birdie putt here. Will it get there? Dead on. From the tee of this difficult par four, it is easy to be lulled into a false sense of security. Drive the ball to the right of the tee as the fairway slopes right to left down towards some menacing rough. The narrow opening to the green will definitely grab full attention on the second shot, which calls for a mid to long iron and must be precise to keep away from trouble on both sides of the green. What an impressive drive. Nicely played. Sit back and enjoy this one. Couldn't have planned it any better. Tiger Woods for birdie. Birdie to go two under. One of the toughest par threes anywhere. 
Miss the green to the right, and it will be the fortunate golfer who walks away with a bogey. A deep bunker to the right swallows errant balls, and a group of thick trees guard the putting surface. Congratulations. Congratulations on that hole in one. Here's a reward. Here's a trophy ball. A relatively short par four where par should be the norm. A well positioned tee shot is a must, so it's probably best to hit a three wood, taking aim at the left flank as the right holds a hidden fairway bunker. The approach shot is a short iron to a long, narrow green virtually surrounded by bunkers. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. Way to rip that drive. That earned you a nice little reward. This would be a rare feat. Back-to-back -back eagles. Back-to-back -back eagles. You lucky swine. Hey. A medium to long uphill par three that requires a carry to make it safely to the green. Be very careful with club selection because it's an almost sure bogey if the shot is long, thereby necessitating a chip back onto a green falling away toward the front. Nice approach. Should be on the green here. This one looks good. Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. This might drop. A driver must find the middle of the sixth fairway since out of bounds runs down the entire left side and the right side is lined with trees. Playing the hole aggressively carries no small risk. At the 150-yard marker, turn left and wave to Alistair McKenzie's ghost. Doesn't get any straighter than this. About 190 yards left of the hole. I couldn't have played this any better myself. Be right. This for six birdies in a row. That's your birdie. Six birdies in a row. The narrowest hole on the golf course. It is a par four that forces most golfers to reach for their straight club off the tee. A more generous landing area in the fairway awaits the courageous player who uses a driver. The approach shot with a short to mid iron must be on target and come in high to avoid the four greenside bunkers protecting the green.
get all over it. That's the way we like it. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. Right into the hole of its stroke properly. Piece of cake. Not as demanding as the first two par threes on the front side, the eighth hole requires a solid iron shot, usually a mid to long iron, to a severely sloped green where three putts are a way of life. Landing below the hole is imperative. Looks like this one's heading in the right direction. Now that's what you call being on target. This isn't out of your range. You can do it. Now don't blow this putt. Just aim a little to the left. It's in the hole! The par 5 ninth is a chance to score a birdie if played smartly rather than greedily. Although aggression is sometimes rewarded, a well-placed drive kept right of the two fairway bunkers 224 yards out on the left flank and a controlled second shot that steers clear of the trees lurking along the right will set up an easy pitch to the green. Yes! I think we've got about a hundred yards left here. Get close. This for a ninth consecutive birdie. Sinks the birdie putt. A dogleg par four, the tenth hole features a series of intimidating but conquerable ravines. The drive must carry the first barranca, leaving a second shot that should be played using a long iron or fairway wood. The second shot is downhill to a sloping fairway and must be accurate. Right, left, and short all add up to extra strokes. This could find the shaggy stuff. Well, I wandered around a while, but finally found the rough. I wouldn't call this a crime. Well, maybe a misdemeanor. this to save par. Well, look at this! Should be happy about par there. Woohoo! 
The 11th is a difficult, entirely uphill par four that has acted as the spoiler to many a good round. A long and straight drive that finds the fairway is a must. Be careful not to hook. The second shot is a long iron over a deep barranca that opens at the very front edge of the elevated green. The putting green is one of the toughest on the course. He played this very nicely down the fairway. It's all uphill from here. The shot should find the green. Ooh, this will be a tough putt from here. This putt for birdie. This one a ride. Oh God, I admire you. It is easy to become swept up in the panoramic view of the bay driving off the highly elevated tee, but maintain concentration. Play the drive down the right side of the wide fairway and let the ball run down the slope. The approach shot must be played directly onto the green as trouble awaits in front in the forms of a shallow valley and fronting bunkers. I could be mistaken, but this appears to be going towards the rough. What do you know? It's in the rough. This is bad. Very bad. This for a second consecutive birdie. It's makeable, Gary. The right speed and the right line, and you got it. Ha! Yes. That'll usually work. No worries, Mike. The final par five on the course, the 13th is also the widest and easiest. Now is the time for big hitters to go for the green in two. Definitely play the driver off the tee to make the most of the extra fairway. Don't run the approach shot onto the green because the surrounding bunkers will snare the ball. David, he put a good swing on this. On the green and two. Woods looking to knock this in for Eagle. Yes. Impressive work. Have a trophy. A simple looking tee shot until it disappears down into an irregular grassy swale that wanders down the left side of the fairway. Land here and the green may not be visible, so keep right. The second shot must get airborne to carry huge oaks extending into the fairway from the right side. Go for the left. Should be in good shape after this. Nice.
Woods can really capitalize here if he can knock down the eagle. Should be thinking two putts here. No need to be a hero. Ooh, I thought it was in. Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. And it drops for birdie. A seductive little par three that has more hazards than one realizes when standing on the tee. Get all over it. Yes! Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. That's a birdie! Mackenzie's favorite par four, the 16th at Pasatiempo, strikes fear into the hearts of nearly all who play it. A blind tee shot calls for some intelligent planning, precise placement with a draw. Too far left, the ball ends up in a barranca, and too far right is OB. This should look like just fine. Yes! This for six birdies in a row. I'm reading this one to go right to left. It just wouldn't stay down. Makes his par. A short par four with a wide fairway and a large green. Leave the driver in the bag and hit either a three wood or a two iron to make sure the tee shot finds the tree lined fairway. Unless you're a short hitter, the approach shot is no more than a mid iron, but take enough club as the shot is all uphill. Be careful of the bunker on the right that flanks the green. Yes! Not a great effort, but it found the green. Should be able to make birdie here. Are you serious? Beautifully done. The finishing hole requires a 170 yard carry over a huge barranca that is wreathed by trees and bunkers. An extra club length may be called for on this downhill tee shot. This is not the hole to falter on. 
Play it bravely. Ooh, this one looks good. Well, this one had a real chance of going in the hole. This is definitely a makeable putt, don't you think? You just owned the greens today. Nice going. You deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. Welcome to the Blue Monster Golf Course at Doral, a layout with more sand than its neighbor down A1A, Miami Beach. Hello everyone, I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. David Ferdy is ready to call the action from the course and it looks like the players are ready at the first tee. This should be just fine. Oh, that is so good. Here we go for Eagle. Marvelous Eagle there. Hey, it's your... This is another good birdie hole. Numerous past winners have taken advantage of the two relatively easy opening holes. You'll see many of the pros teeing off with an iron here. The fairway narrows to 24 yards between the fairway bunkers and the right fairway bunker has three grass islands, a trademark of the original Dick Wilson design. Get tight. A birdie will help here. It usually does. Finds the hole in that birdie putt. Three under par. Time to get serious. The third hole may now be the most difficult driving hole on the Blue Monster. The short driving zone has been narrowed considerably. A miss to the right will find a lake, while a miss to the left will find deep Bermuda rough or the tough fairway bunker. A sharp slope off the left side of the green will bring extremely difficult recovery shots. Nothing wrong with this drive. It's on the green, but a long way from the hole. 
for a third consecutive birdie. This is the hardest par three on the golf course, even though the 13th hole is 10 yards longer. A ball can now bounce onto the green. However, any slight miss to the right will be waterbound. Nice swing. Should be safely on the green. That'll do it. Please, do your best not to blow this very makeable putt. Is it going in? Beautiful birdie effort to go five under par. The gigantic bunker on the left side has four small bunkers pitched into the hillside. The drive is to a narrow and defined area. The second shot goes into a beautifully bunkered green that will set up for a birdie if you drive it long and in the fairway. Watch out, this one's not looking good. Bingo! It's in the rough. Caught a good break in the rough here, McCord. Not bad at all. Oh yeah, this is headed for the green. Ah, uh, Woody? Well, might make about three out of ten from this range. Oh God, I admire you. The long, narrow fairway on the sixth hole creates a very tight driving area. The green is long and narrow, which creates a great area for back left corner pin placements. A solid drive here. Get lucky. This for six birdies in a row. Not a lot of difficulty here, Gary. You know it's an easy game. Read it, hit it, hope for the best. Nice looking putt. That's it. Six birdies in a row. This game's getting too easy. But time to put a trophy ball in your cage. Off the tee, players will find five palm trees at the corner of the dog leg. A drive right or through the fairway could end up behind the palm trees. The big round circular green slopes down to the left and into a chipping area. made a statement with that swing.
This would be seven straight birdies if it goes in. Well, you can take this one to the bank. A good stroke and this one can be made. It's in! A player stepping on the eighth tee will see a lake that is in play for the long hitters. Numerous palm trees are placed over the bunker on the right side and will punish any bailout to the right. Many of the players will be going for the green in two, but it will require a long, accurate drive and is usually into the winter southwest wind. Fairway 30, he should be happy with this one. Hundred and sixty yards, right on about that. Can you believe that shot? This would be an amazing eight straight birdies. Look at that birdie. Nicely done. The ninth hole is the shortest of the par threes at Doral, but almost always plays into the wind or into a crossing left to right wind. It is important for the player to leave the ball under the hole so he can make an aggressive putt. This for a ninth consecutive birdie. Look at this ball roll. Piece of cake. The tenth hole is a par five that usually plays downwind. The two fairway bunkers on the right make the drive tighter and bring the water into play. The further the drive, the narrower the fairway becomes. The green is tucked in close to the water. He just punished that one. This should be on the green. A lot of work left to be done on this hole. Woods can really capitalize here if he can knock down the eagle. Can you believe this? The larger bunker in the center of the fairway gives the golfer options off the tee. Better drivers will definitely hit their driver here and leave just a short pitch. Any pin placement from the middle of this green forward will be partially hidden. Could be in trouble here. You know, I hate that feeling of sand between my toes. Maybe I should start wearing shoes.
be the number. Yes! This for 11 birdies in a row. Are you serious? Beautifully done. This is one of the longest par fives on the PGA Tour. The parallel bunker on the left has long fingers coming down, giving it a very unusual look. Don't expect to see many players hit this green in two. The 12th is considered one of the most beautiful holes here at Doral. Great drive! About 170 yards to this hole. What an effort. We're on the green and looking for an eagle. Well, not a particularly long putt. Not a short one either. Sinks it for an eagle. Impressive. This is the... Not to psych you out, but one more green in regulation, and you've got yourself a new record. Birdie or better on this hole, and you'll hold the record for most birdies in a round. This should be all right. On the green, at least. Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. It's all good. The par 4 14th hole usually plays downwind. There are two bunkers down the fairway that will make the longer hitters more aware of placing the ball in the fairway. There are two bunkers on the left side of the green, while the right side of the green slopes toward the 15th tee. This one looks straight and far. A tremendous shot. Incredible shot. That's one for the scrapbook. This would be 14 birdies in a row. Yes. Probably the most difficult part of the 15th tee is the width of the green. It is very narrow, and with the wind usually coming from left to right, it is not an easy club selection. Should have a good chance from there. Tiger Woods for birdie. Will it get there? It drops! The left fairway bunker includes four islands and has been completely grassed down. A wide fairway will encourage the players to drive the ball off the tee 
which will bring the bunkers and palm trees into play more often. This is a very narrow area and the green slopes away from the players. Hey, you've driven a green already today. Let's see you do it again. He's going to have some work to do after this shot. No doubt about it, headed for the bunker. This for 16 straight birdies. This is a chance. Made it. The most interesting thing about number 17 is the length of the green. It is 58 yards long, which could mean a three or four club difference depending on where the pin is placed. Because the hole will generally play into the wind or into a left to right wind, the hole plays considerably long. A back pin placement will require a shot over a deep and intimidating bunker guarding the left side of the green. Impressive work. This for an Eagle 2. What an Eagle! Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. This is one of the most famous and recognizable holes in the world and has often been ranked the most difficult finishing hole on the PGA Tour. The narrowest part of the fairway is only 25 yards wide, so the lake is definitely in play. There are trees guarding the entire right side of this hole and driving the ball in the right rough leads to a terrifying shot into a long, narrow green. Nicely played on this one. Looking good. It's headed for the green. Hitting every green in regulation. That's awesome. If this one goes in, you're looking at a birdie on every hole on the course. Looking good. You just owned the greens today. Nice going. Great job hitting all the greens in regulation. You definitely deserve... You deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports, welcoming you to the always be deviling Bethpage Black Golf Course. My partner, David Faraday, is at the first tee, ready to call the action, so let's get the day started. David, he put a good swing on this. Ah, 
kind of right on, I want to say about 100 yards. Get all over it. Here's a trophy ball for hitting the pin. Keep up the good work. The shortest par four on the course. This hole is slightly downhill off the tee. The right side of the fairway climbs gradually toward one ridge, and a ball that stays in the rough will leave a right-handed player with the ball well above his feet. The left side of the green drops off as much as 10 feet. He'll be pleased with this. Up the hill, you gotta make sure you've got enough club here. Get tight. Well, this one had a real chance of going in the hole. For a second birdie in a row. Right into the hole of its stroke properly. There's a birdie to go two under. This par three emphasizes accuracy to find a shallow green that is angled from right front to back left. Many shots that land beyond the center of the green will bounce over and leave the player on a steep slope in deep rough. shot. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. The most picturesque hole on the course plays downhill to a fairway that dog legs slightly to the left around a cluster of bunkers. Once in the fairway, the player faces an interesting decision whether to lay up or attempt a risky blind uphill shot to a shallow green that slopes away. This should be just fine. Well, you'd like to be a little closer than this, Gary. About 180 yards left. Should be a makeable putt after this one. Should be in good shape after this. What is that? Hey now, this would be four straight birdies. Makes his birdie and now he's four under par.
The tee shot is a classic A.W. Tillinghast challenge. Nearly 260 yards to carry the last of the massive cross bunkers that hug the right side of the fairway. The relatively small and well-bunkered green cannot be seen from the fairway. Here's a drive right down the middle of the fairway. enough to get it up the hill here. That'll do it. This would be a fifth straight birdie. There's a birdie to take it to five under. Many players will elect to hit a layup shot off the tee to a landing zone that is pinched to only 12 yards wide between the large bunkers. A player who attempts to shorten the hole by hitting over the left bunker could find his ball in deep rough on a steep slope. Absolutely walloped that one. Get lucky. This one looks good. This for six birdies in a row. This'll find the cup. No problem. Six birdies in a row. Tall trees guarding the right side of the fairway prevent players from cutting this dogleg par four. That will leave an approach of more than 200 yards into a green that is easily accessible on the left side. The protected portion of the green is far smaller and more difficult to reach. Good distance here, but it might be going a little left. I've walked this one off, 140 yards to the hole. Shooting for an eagle now, nicely done. This putt for eagle. It's your first eagle. An elevated tee shows the player everything that they must contend with. A green guarded by a pond in front, large bunkers left and back, and a towering oak tree to the right. The grass at the front of the green might not stop balls from rolling toward the water. Nothing wrong with that. This would be an amazing eight straight birdies.
Looks pretty good. Ugh, it's in the hole. An errant shot on this dogleg left par four could find high rough and tall trees to the left or it could bounce into the hillside of the undulating fairway on the right and leave a blind approach. Bunkers surround one of the larger greens on the course. This'll work. Nice play. Get tight! That's the way we like it. This is definitely makeable putt, don't you think? There's no such thing as an easy putt, but this one's not too tough. Made it! This fairway has a subtle dog leg to the left and a nearly obscured fairway bunker on the right that could easily be overlooked from the tee. Length with the driver translates to a shorter second shot into a small green guarded by several bunkers. Didn't get all of it, but it's not a terrible shot. Congratulations, that chip earns you a special reward. I will not insult you for the next 10 seconds. The drive to a blind fairway requires a shot favoring the right side, away from the bunker. One of the most difficult greens on the course, it is sloped steeply from back to front. Anything hit over this green almost guarantees a bogey. This is a bueno looking shot. About 110 yards to the hole here, Gary. Oh, it hit the pin. The longest par four hole in US Open history dog legs sharply left after a massive cross bunker about 235 yards from the tee. One of the largest putting surfaces on the course has pronounced undulations with more pronounced elevations on the left side. but uh, this will do.
Right on target. Not dead on the stick by any means, but uh, made the green. It's respectable. Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. It's going to be close. Very nice indeed. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. The second and last par five may require three full swings into a prevailing wind, especially if the player is to avoid challenging a cross bunker about 30 yards short of the green. The green has a moderate slope from back to front, and the right greenside bunker is one of the deepest on the course. He hit it a ton! Good one. Put two together and we're talking red numbers. About a buck and a half left to the hole here. Look at this, going for Eagle now. Tiger Woods for Eagle. Take a bit of friendly advice and look to the left. Marvelous Eagle there. Possibly the easiest hole on the course requires a short iron shot to a large but undulating green. The putting surface is wider than it is deep and slopes from back to front and from right to left. Are you serious? Beautifully done. This would be 14 birdies in a row. This drive must be long and find a fairway that dog legs subtly to the left. What remains is an approach shot to a green perched on a hillside 50 feet above the fairway. The two-tiered green sloped severely from back left to front right. Looks to be safely in the fairway. This should be on the green. Still a lot of work left to be done here. Can you believe it? This would be 15 straight birdies.
This hole begins with another drive from an elevated T looking down more than 60 feet to a narrow fairway that angles from left to right. Deep and foreboding bunkers are in front and beside a green that slopes away and right to left. All right, find this fairway and you'll break the record for fairways hit in a round. A little under a hundred yards left here, Gary. This should find the green. Well, it's okay. Not brilliant, but okay. At least we're dancing. Please, do your best not to blow this very makeable putt. Cash is that one in. Although 40 yards at its widest, little of the putting surface is visible from the tee. Instead, the player faces tons of sand in the five bunkers and a hillside behind the green that provides an excellent vantage for spectators. Concentrate now, you could set a new birdie record here. This approach looks good. Well, it's not spectacular, Gary, but it is on the putting surface. Tiger Woods for birdie. Can you believe this? The drive is downhill to a fairway squeezed to 16 yards wide as it passes between enormous clusters of bunkers. The green slopes gently from the back, making putting easy from almost any angle. You've hit every fairway so far. Hit this one straight and it'll give you a nice bonus. By hitting all the fairways, you've definitely earned this trophy ball. A lot of work here, my friend. Lots of work. If this one goes in, you're looking at a birdie on every hole on the course. Incredible shot. That's one for the scrapbook. You deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. The old course at St. Andrews has been host to golf's greatest championship, golf's greatest players, and Faraday. He's standing down on the first tee. David, he put a good swing on this.
Oh, what a shot. The drive is blind from the championship tee, but less so from further forward. The right of the fairway features hidden bunkers and savage gorse. You won't be able to see the bottom of the flag from the fairway if the pin is to the left, while the right side is guarded by many hazards. This should do the trick. Oh, I like the looks of this shot. I do believe that that was a good choice of club. Fantastic approach. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. Found the hole for a nice birdie there. There's plenty of fairway to the left of the flag before the principal's nose bunker comes into play. The third is not a long hole, so you will invariably be hitting a lofted club to a green that slopes away from you. This green is enormous. Three putts are not uncommon. He's gonna like this one. This should find the green. The birdie will help here. It usually does. Looks makeable to me. Fantastic putt. Knocks it in to go three under. The safest play off the tee here at number four is to aim left over the prominent mound at about 150 yards. An approach shot from the right will avoid the large mound 20 yards from the middle of the green, while the shot from the left will have to carry an array of bunkers. Can you believe this? Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. Look at the birdie. Four under now. Your target off the tee at number five should be just to the left of the pair of far-off bunkers called the Spectacles. Then it's decision time. Can you carry the ridge? 
If the wind is in your face, it's usually best to lay up short and be sure to look ahead to see where the pin is. The green is 100 yards deep, so the distance to the pin varies considerably. I just had to walk up this one, and uh, it's about 160, I think. On in two and potting for an eagle. Tiger Woods for eagle. Eagle to take him to six under par on the day. Hey, it's your first Eagle. You deserve a trophy ball for that. The sixth fairway is just pockmarked with hazards. To put your approach close to the pin, you will have to negotiate the gully in front of the green. Whether you decide on the chip and run option or the aerial approach, this dip is the only hazard to take into consideration. This should set him up perfectly for the next shot. Yes! Get lucky. Hard to believe that that one just dropped. Back to back eagles, you lucky swine. Six birdies and congratulations. The most direct line to the green is straight over the gorse bushes. The less able can drive straight down the middle to the right side of the large knoll in the fairway. The green has a variety of humps and hollows, so a certain amount of luck is required to get the ball near the flag here. Right on, I want to say about a hundred yards. What a shot! Here's a trophy ball for hitting the pen. Keep up the good work. In the 1995 Open Championship, there were only two birdies at the eighth on the first day. Like every hole at St. Andrews, this little par three can seem quite simple when the wind isn't blowing. Be the number. Not shabby, not a great shot, but we're putting. Tiger Woods for birdie. Well, look at this. Oh, it's in the hole.
The perfect line is over the prominent bush avoiding the fairway bunkers. You are now facing a unique phenomena for the old course, a single green that is flat and round with no significant greenside bunkers. Depending on your position, putting could be the best option. A solid drive here. this for a ninth consecutive birdie. This looks very good. That one's in the hole. Off the tee from number 10, you want to aim between the twin bunkers in the foreground, although the fairway widens slightly on the left at the range of a good drive. Attack the hole and you will be rewarded. It's always a good idea to check where the flag stick is before you hit your tee shot. Yes! Impressive work. This for an Eagle 2. I couldn't have played this any better myself. Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. The 11th at St. Andrews is one of the most celebrated par threes in the world of golf. It has greenside bunkers so deep you can get lost in them, and a green that falls severely towards the front. Oh, I'm weeping down here, that's so good. McCord, I need a hug. Drops it for birdie. The twelfth hole is a magnificent short par four. Nicknamed Heathery, it features a bunker called Stroke Bunker. This sand trap is so cold because once in it, you lose at least one stroke. Good luck. I'm starting to wonder, if you got what it takes to hit the green from here? Nice. Woods can really capitalize here if he can knock down the eagle. Don't let this putt get in your head. There's no room. Impressive work. On the 13th, the drive should be either side of a group of bunkers 200 yards from the tee, appropriately named the Coffins. If you go into one of them, you're dead. The green is immensely deep and guarded on the right by two formidable bunkers.
Here's a good one. Should be on the front. Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. Great effort here. Oh my goodness, it went in the hole! The ideal line at the 14th is to the left of the wall and to the right of the fairway bunkers. Holding the green on your approach will be a considerable challenge as it slopes sharply from front to back. It's always a good idea to check where the flag stick is before you hit your tee shot. Find a way to eagle this hole and you'll hold the record for most eagles in a round. Well, you'd like to be a little closer than this, Gary. About 180 yards left. Going for Eagle from here. This is not a gimme. You gotta play it outside the left edge. That's not nice. This would be 14 birdies in a row. Your ideal target is right between the two prominent humps in the center of the fairway. Take an extra club and play safe into this double green. Incredible shot. That's one for the scrapbook. Can you believe it? This would be 15 straight birdies. Got to be happy with that birdie. Got to be happy with any birdie. On number 16, the safe play is to drive to the left of the principal's nose bunker, which is visible at 180 yards. The more heroic, but perhaps foolish golfers can try the gap between principal's nose and the out-of-bounds line, which is like a three-strand wire fence down the right. This is a bueno-looking shot. believe it the road hole has long been believed by many golfers to be the most famous par four in the world of golf the way the green is laid out even accomplished golfers find it difficult to avoid the notorious road hole bunker or the road itself and the wall behind it One more little tweeter on this hole, and you'll hold the record for most in a round.
bite. Woods would like to make par on this hole. A terrific par save. Here at 18, Granny Clark's wind crosses the fairway and is not a hazard, but an integral part of the course, and the ball must be played if it finishes there. The front of the green is guarded by the only natural hazard on this hole, the Valley of Sin. You've hit every fairway so far. Hit this one straight, and it'll give you a nice bonus. Yes! By hitting all the fairways, you've de- Nice swing. Should be safely on the green. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. I don't have to tell you how important putting is. Nice job. You deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. The stadium course at the TPC at Sawgrass, Pete Dye's masterpiece, has wreaked havoc on the players of the PGA Tour since it opened in 1980. Hello everyone, this is Gary McCourt for EA Sports. David Faraday is walking the course with the players who are ready to go on the first tee. Stay in a fairway. Bite. Hey, it's your first eagle. You deserve a trophy. Here's a... On this relatively short par five, the tee shot is crucial. Do not be greedy here, as a long drive along the left side will get you nothing but trouble. A long and accurate drive will give you the chance to reach the green in two shots. A layup shot to about 60 yards short of the green will find a flat area to approach from. Doesn't get any straighter than this. About a buck and a half left to the hole here. It's on the green. Amazing. You don't see this very often. This is for two consecutive eagles. It dropped for an eagle. Back to back eagle. A 
shot requiring a middle to short iron is needed to reach the green on this picturesque par three. The green is two-tiered and slopes from back to front. There will probably be more birdies here than on the other par three holes. Down, down! That's a good shot. Tiger Woods for birdie. This looks very good. Beautiful birdie effort to go five under par. The fourth at TPC Sawgrass is a par four that requires accuracy on every shot. A well-struck long iron or fairway wood from the tee will enable the player to hit a middle to short iron to the green. The two-tiered green is very undulating, so be wary when it's your turn to putt. Stay in a fairway. This is what happens when a golfer loses focus. What is that? This for par. Take your time on this putt. You got some break to this one. That's a good par. This dogleg right offers a generous landing area for the drive as it is the longest par four on the golf course. Favoring the right side will give you a shorter approach shot. The green is deep, narrow, and rolling. Par is always a good score here. Be happy with this. Look at this shot. Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. It's on its way, and it's looking pretty good. The sixth hole is a perfect example of target golf one of the longest par fours you will ever play. A well-placed drive will set you up for the uphill approach to a slightly elevated green, which slopes down from right to left and back to front. Just an unbelievable play. Congratulations, that chip earns you a special reward. I will not insult you for the next 10 seconds.
A tee shot on the left is preferred for a flag on the right, and a drive to the right not too close to the rough is desired for a flag located in the rear or left. Too far right and you can be blocked out on your second shot. The wind direction on this hole can make it very difficult to score well. This should play well from here. This for three straight birdies. Looks makeable to me. Rolls in the birdie putt. The longest par three at TPC Sawgrass usually plays into the wind and requires a long iron or fairway wood to carry a myriad of obstacles. The deep, narrow, and sloping green completes the challenge. Par will be very welcome on this demanding par three. Get up! Whoa, look where that one ended up. Hey now, this would be four straight birdies. This'll break right, I'm certain of that. What do you got to lose? Dropped it, no problem. The ninth hole is considered by many to be one of the finest par fives in the country. The most important shot here is your second. To the left, a wandering fairway bunker and large oak trees crowd the small second shot landing area. The green is not very wide and is severely sloped from the front to the back right. This should be in perfect shape. Yes! 250 yards, it's all about making a smart play here. Oh no, it's in the bunker. Oh, what a shot! Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. Nice putt for birdie. The narrow landing area for this drive demands accuracy. From the landing area, the green appears to be very large, but in fact it's narrow and fades away from the players. Typically, it is a two to three club green. He might want to bury his head in the sand after this one. I'm sure you didn't want to hit in the bunker, but uh, that's what you did. Well, yeah, it's in the sand, Gary, but not tragic. Should be able to fly it out of here easily.
get tight. What a shot! Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. Six birdies. The 11th hole is a strategically designed middle length par 5. Players attempting to reach this green in two must have a long and accurate drive down the right side. The player laying up can elect to hit the fairway area on the right, which is guarded by a large oak tree, leaving a short iron or wedge to the green. An eagle here, it'll set a record. This is going right where he wanted to hit it. Well, you got a chance to hit it really close. Need a good solid shot here. 190 yards left the hole. Get all over it. Great chance for Eagle here. This for two Eagles in a row. There it is, an Eagle. Because this is the shortest par four at TPC Sawgrass, there is a premium on accuracy from the 12th tee. The preferred position is right center of the fairway. Players driving short or to the left of their target sometimes will not be able to see the flag stick because of the large mounds. I'm starting to wonder, have you got what it takes to hit the ground from here? Well, I wandered around a while, but finally find the rough. This would be an amazing eight straight birdies. A water hazard protects this evil little par three all the way down the left side. The green has three separate tiers. The wind can play tricks on you here. Check it carefully. A lot of work here, my friend. Lots of work. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. Very long putt here. Traditionally, the 14th hole has been one of the toughest at TPC Sawgrass. The narrow two-tiered driving area is paralleled down the left side by a narrow fairway bunker and a lateral water hazard. The green is huge with some severe mounds in it. Come on, Woody.
Yes! Ah, right on. I want to say about a hundred yards. Get all over it. Well, this one had a real chance of going in the hole. This attempt for a tenth straight birdie. That's your birdie. This dogleg right par four begins with a drive through a chute of trees over water and a waste area. The tee shot should favor the right side to allow for a straighter approach shot. The fairway is split into two and the green is pretty humpy. It's going, going, gone. He ripped it. Get close. Tiger Woods for birdie. The 16th hole at TPC Sawgrass is a short par five that will give a lot of players a chance to reach this green in two. Remember, you have all the room you need to the left of the green. Players who choose to lay up must contend with a narrow approach area and the water down the right side. The green has two tiers. They slope from left to right towards the water and they wrap around the rear of the green. Oh, this could find the rough. Eagle attempt coming up here. This is for Eagle. Beautiful putt. This putt would make it 12 straight birdies. And it drops for birdie. In its brief history, the island 17th hole has become one of the most famous par three holes in the world. It's the signature hole here at TPC Sawgrass, and it's a short par three with a wide green that narrows to the right side. Find this green in regulation, and you'll set a new record. A birdie here, and you'll set the record for most birdies Looking good. It's headed for the green.
Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. Make sure to read this one properly. Is it going in? Sinks that one, no problem. If the 17th wasn't hard enough, the 18th is a fantastic dogleg to finish this golf course. If playing safe is your plan, stay to the right. The left side requires courage, patience, and a great deal of skill. This 18th hole has become one of the premier finishing holes in all of golf. Nice play here. Ah, uh, Woody. This would be 14 birdies in a row. I don't have to tell you how important putting is. Nice job. You deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. We're here today at the plantation course at Kapalua, a beautiful ocean course set on the hills surrounded by tropical vegetation and pineapple fields. This is Gary McCord for EA Sports. My partner David Faraday is at the first tee ready to help call the action. So let's get the day started. Here's your chance to make something out of a bad situation. It's in the rough, and it could be trouble. What is that? This is for Paul. Hole two is a downwind par three to a large green angled from left to right. The tilt of the green plus the direction and force of the wind favor shots that fade and are played with finesse. It's airborne and it's right on target. Whoa, look where that one ended up. This is a birdie putt. That's a birdie to go one under.
The third hole, named Easterly, is a hole of medium length made longer by playing directly into the trade winds. The fairway bends slightly to the right past a cluster of bunkers leading to a plateaued green which slopes from right to left. David, he put a good swing on this. Bite. Yes! For two straight birdies. This could be tough unless you give it enough push to get it up that hill. Mm, nice putt. Tiger for par. Remains at one under with that par. Hole four is an old-fashioned affair with a well-defined drive over a high hill to a rolling fairway. Play the approach shot with medium irons to a wide green that gathers from right to left. but it should be okay. Get tight! Needs to roll this one in for par. Great looking putt here. Scrambles to save par. The fifth hole slopes left to right all the way. The fairway culminates at a green perched on a peninsula high above the canyon that borders the entire right side of the hole. The nature of the hole entices the player to have a go after a fine drive. Aim approaches at the left side of the green. Courage, but not foolhardiness, is rewarded here. Excellent swing right down the center of the fairway. Yes! Great chance for Eagle here. Here we go for Eagle. Don't forget about the slope here. This is for Birdie. Strokes in that Birdie putt to go two under.
Hole 6, nicknamed Cross and Down, is a spectacular, mysterious par 4 with alternate routes to the green. Play the ideal tee shot dangerously, powerfully, and accurately across the cliffs to the right side of the fairway where the green may be adequately viewed. Way to rip that drive. That earned you a nice little reward. Get lucky. this for a second consecutive birdie. Knocks it in to go three under. Molokai, the seventh hole here at Kapalua, is the second of three long downhill, downwind par fours. The expansive fairway angling from left to right is inviting, as is the large undulating green. The green with its bunkering encourages running approaches. That's one of the hardest swings I've ever seen. Okay, Gary, but 170 yards left the hole. Look at this shot. Tiger Woods for birdie. That one, no problem. Number eight is a middle iron par three, playing across a native canyon to a receptive green. The green, which slopes back to front and right to left, was built to hold and nurse the ball to the left. Get all over it. Hey now, this would be four straight birdies. Will it get there? No problem. Hole 9, correctly named Long, features a tee shot that must be solidly played into the fairway to allow the second to carry a large valley in the fairway crossing. Shots failing to carry the valley leave blind approaches. Those carrying the valley will position the players for a short iron or pitch approach to a plateaued green guarded by bunkers on the right. My hat's off to you if you can hit it out of this stuff.
Don't leave this one short now. Get all over it. That'll work. This'll find the cop. It's in! The tenth is a relatively short par four made substantially longer by playing into the wind and slightly uphill. The ample fairway, tilting dramatically from right to left, invites controlled draws. The green rewards low, driving shots into the wind and running approaches. Watch out, this one's not looking good. You've got some work to do from here. No question about that. Get close. Get tight. This putt for par. That's a great up and down for par. The last par three of the course, number 11, demands and rewards thoughtful finesse. A shot flown directly to the back left pin will not likely be tried more than once. Incredible shot. That's one for the scrapbook. Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. Drops it for birdie. The twelfth hole, named Lanai, is a statistically long par four transformed into a drive and pitch hole by the prevailing wind. An accurate carrying tee shot to the hilltop leaves a short pitch to a small, concave green with steep surrounding slopes. I can't be certain, but this looks like it's heading for the rough. Come on, Tiger. He caught a real break here. It's not too bad. Shouldn't have any trouble here. Be right. Ah, uh, Woody. A solid stroke is all you need here. A terrific par save.
Low, boring tee shots and approaches favoring the right side of the fairway are necessary to reach the deep and deceptive 13th green in regulation. Putts numbering three or more will also be commonplace given the green's size and slope. Come on, Woody. Yes! Oh yeah, this is headed for the green. I suggest getting it closer to the hole next time. Looking to walk away with Birdie on this hole. Nothing easy about this putt coming up. Oh, that's impossible. Converts his par. Hole 14 features the course's smallest green perched atop another plateau, the ever-present winds, and an expansive array of fairway bunkers lying in wait test both tee shots and approaches. What this hole may lack in length, it more than compensates for in personality. Here's a drive right down the middle of the fairway. This all comes with sound effects. Number 15 is a double dogleg par 5, showing not bunkers but natural character. Strongly defined by its slopes, the crossing winds, and another native canyon that borders the tee shot area on the right and the green on the left. Shots played more closely along these dangerous borders will afford opportunity for birdies. Looks to be about 200 yards. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. It doesn't get much straighter than this. Rolls in the birdie putt. Tee shots played powerfully and accurately over the bunkers on the 16th hole afford the best angle of attack to the pin. 
The pen is best approached from the far right side of the fairway, an area most dangerous to long drivers. Sunset, the 17th hole, requires a high, soaring draw played to a wide, collecting fairway sloping right to left. Approach shots are played with anything from middle irons to fairway woods. A large yet subtle green beckons to and accepts the long running approach. One more little tweeter on this hole, and you'll hold the record for most in a round. Anybody seen a lawnmower? This stuff is thick. Need a big shot here to clear the rough. Nothing wrong with that swing. Hey, at least you're on the ground. The 18th hole, nicknamed Home, is the hole around which the rest of the course was formulated. The large, receptive fairway and green are difficult to judge, owing to the vast panoramas and the scale of the background. Here, the scale and drama are uncommon. Hey, David, let's just you and I sit back and enjoy this tremendous drive. Just a touch under two bills here, a tough shot. attempt coming up here for Eagle get out the map and the compass it's a long way to the cup from here unbelievable impressive work How about, hey you deserve a special reward for going bogeyless for a round. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score.
Welcome to historic Greece as the best players in the world arrive at the Greek Isles. Hello again, everyone. This is Gary McCord for EA Sports. David Faraday is ready to go at the first tee, so let's get the day started. A solid drive here. Little under a hundred yards left here, Gary. Nice swing. Should be safely on the green. No right, no left, just hit it straight. It's all good. Hole two is a long dogleg right ending with an island green. The aggressive play is to drive the ball to the narrow portion of the fairway in the hopes of clearing enough distance to set up for an eagle attempt. Your attempt at the green will need to be accurate as errant shots may find the ocean floor. Nothing wrong with that swing. Is this all you've got? And all your partner's got? And well, you know, forget it. We're not getting there. This isn't looking good, I'm afraid. Not shabby, not a great shot, but we're putting. Tiger Woods for birdie. There's a birdie to go two under. The third hole is a formidable dogleg left framed by cliffs on the left and the ocean on the right. Long drives off the tee are a must in order to set up for an unobstructed shot at the green. Well, this is going left. I'm not sure if it'll stay in play. Things might get a little dicey before we finish this hole. Come on. Tiger Woods for par. Now this has a real chance. Nice recovery for par.
The par 3 fourth marks the last Oceanside hole. Not only do you have to clear the front side bunker, but you'll need to deal with the tiered green. Watch the wind and make the appropriate club selection. Can you believe this? I don't like the chances of this going in. Yes! Hole five is a test of one's accuracy. The fairway is extremely undulated, so it may be difficult to land the ball on level ground. You will be tempted to go for the green in two, but make sure you have enough loft on the ball to carry the trees on the right side of the fairway. That looked like a conservative swing. This is a tough situation, you know, like 300 yards and something else left for the whole place. You know, I'm glad I'm an announcer. Yes! Get lucky. We should be in good shape here. Looking to walk away with birdie on this hole. Ah, this looks good. Makes his birdie, and now he's four under par. The sixth hole is a par four that features a split fairway. Playing the conservative shot will result in a longer, tougher approach to the elevated green, but it takes the bunker and colossal fig tree out of the equation. The small green is protected to the left and right by bunkers. Good swing, but uh, heading for the longer stuff. Well, it jumped off into the first cut, but certainly nothing unmanageable from here. Oh, this could find the rough. Now that's one for the highlight reel. Here's a trophy ball for hitting the pin. Keep up the good work. Hole seven features a slight dog leg to the right. Be sure to keep the ball in the middle of the fairway as balls near the edge are almost certain to run off into the rough or nearby sand trap. Pin placements to the back of this narrow green will be most difficult with trees and a greenside bunker defending this area. Yes! Well, a little over 230 yards, a very difficult shot.
get tight. Unbelievable! This par 3 is relatively straightforward. As long as you clear the stream in front, there is ample room to land the ball on the putting surface. Well, it came up a little short, but it will make the green. That's the way we like it. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. Got it in. The ninth hole is an interesting par four. If you can carry the fairway to the left, you will be rewarded with a more accessible shot to the green. Playing the right fairway may be an easier shot off the tee, but you will have to deal with the trees. This is the way to keep the ball in play. Give it enough to get it up the hill here. This should make the green barely. This one looks good. This for six birdies in a row. This is going in the hole. Oh, it's in the hole. Six birdies in a row. The stunning tenth hole allows for long drives down the fairway. Take the fairway bunker out of play by aiming slightly to the left. Inaccurate shots to the green will be punished by the humongous greenside bunkers. This is heading straight down the center of the fairway. Yes! It's all uphill from here. This could find the shaggy stuff. He's in the rough, but this shouldn't be any trouble. What is that? Can still save par by making this one. There's no such thing as an easy putt, but this one's not too tough. Well, I, I'm not sure what that was. It just totally sucked. Maybe you'll start focusing better after that bogey. Hole 11 is a demanding par four from start to finish. The snaky fairway leaves little room for error. Sand traps protect the left and right sides of the fairway landing area, so you'll need to be spot on off the tee. Pin placements tucked in the back of the green will be most difficult. Drilled into the cheap seats.
Yes! Get close! Well, this one had a real chance of going in the hole. This is an easy putt. Well, that's easy for me to say. That's it! The twelfth hole is a long par five, abundant with sand traps at every turn. The green is framed by the spectacular waterfall of hole 13. Attempts to reach the green in two will be difficult because you'll need enough club to carry the river at the front and yet still avoid the bunker flanking the rear of the green. He'll be pleased with this. Inside a hundred yards, I'd expect to see this one go close. Get up! Yes! No need to give the hole away. Just knock this one right at the center of it. The amazing 13th hole is straight out of ancient times. This undersized green will pose a challenge for even the most seasoned golfer. Take careful aim. It's makeable, Gary. The right speed and the right line, and you got it. Ha! Huh. Yes, that'll usually work. Hole 14 is a par 4 of moderate length. The shot off the tee will be to a fairway that predominantly slopes downhill. A large sand trap defends the back of the narrow green. Be sure to take any elevation changes into account when sizing up your approach shot. Way to rip that drive. Get all over it. Well, we're going to be putting, so it's not a bad shot. Little left or right here. Oh, God. I admire you.
The 15th hole is a par four that requires length and accuracy from tee to green. Choose your clubs wisely to take advantage of any opportunities to shave strokes off your score. One more little tweeter on this hole and you'll hold the record for most in a round. Bomb this one down the middle. Incredible shot. That's one for the scrapbook. Yes! Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. The tee shot off the 16th crosses a ravine located at the front edge of the fairway. The fairway is severely undulated, so side hill lies are not uncommon. The green is ridiculously small, and long shots will result in erratic ball bounces off the enclosing amphitheater. Concentrate now. You could set a new birdie record here. Doesn't get any straighter than this. I think it's about 240 yards from here. Oh, that is so good. The wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. Yes! The picturesque 17th is a long par 3 of great difficulty. The water hazard on the front takes away any play short of the green. The huge bunker on the back will punish you for any shots past the green. That's just a wonderful shot. The 18th hole is the appropriate finish to this impressive course. The overall hole dog legs to the left. Elevation changes will wreak havoc on club selection, and reaching the green in two is possible, but not probable. The green is completely surrounded by sand, and there is little room to run up. Birdie or better on this hole, and you'll hold the record for most birdies in a round. Got a break there. Got a pretty good lie after a pretty mediocre swing. Be right.
Ah, uh, Woody. Shouldn't have any trouble here. Just incredible. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. Red Rock Creek offers a stunning combination of challenge and beauty. Hello everyone, I'm Gary McCord for EA Sports. My colleague David Ferdy is with us today and will be calling the action down on the course. Let's send it down to the first tee. Oh, a good way to start this hole. Airborne, and it's right on target. Yes! Drops it for birdie. This majestic par 3 offers a stunning view of the Australian coast. Place your tee shot well. You'll be stuck in a large bunker if you come up short, and swimming with the sharks if you hit over the green. Get all over it! Yes! for two straight birdies. There's a birdie to go two under. The third hole offers a dramatic view of the water surrounding this hole from the elevated tees. The uphill approach shot is made easier by driving past the red rock face along the left side of the fairway. The green is well protected by a large bunker in front of the putting surface. He played this very nicely down the fairway. Yes! Shots like this make you think. And you know what happens when you think. This approach looks good. Not shabby, not a great shot, but we're putting. Putting for birdie. It's on its way, and it's looking pretty good. No worries, mate. The fourth hole offers a beautiful view of the rainforests to the right of the fairway and the massive crater to the left. Make sure your approach shot carries over the rocky area just short of the green. The putting surface is well protected by deep rough and bunkers on the right. Long 
grass here. Let's see how he plays it out of the rough. It's in the rough, but looks to be setting up quite royally. Tiger Woods for birdie. Look at the birdie. Four under now. There is another narrow fairway which demands club accuracy. Keep your tee shot right to avoid the ball falling off to the left. Keep driving up the hill and then you'll have quite a view down to the isolated green that slopes slightly from back to front. Well, this is what I'd call a successful liftoff. Yes! I don't know if we're going to have a go at the green from way back here. Almost 245 yards, Gary. Very nicely done. Going for Eagle now. Well, not a particularly long putt, not a short one either. Hey, it's your first eagle. You deserve a trophy ball for that. This little par three is truly majestic. Your tee shot gets quite a view of the lake and it must stay on line in order to avoid the numerous bunkers that await the errant shot. Nice swing. Should be safely on the green. That's the way we like it. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. Very, very nice. Good, that's good value. Six birdies in a row. This game is getting too easy. But time to put a trophy ball in your cage. This is another narrow fairway that demands accuracy from the tee shot. The fairway is protected by bunkers to the left and right. Try and play as close to the right edge as possible without rolling OB. This will provide a better view of the green obscured by a natural rock formation. to rip that drive. That earned you a night.
Are you serious? Beautifully done. This would be seven straight birdies if it goes in. And that's a nicely played birdie there. This long par five plays as a dog leg to the left. The fairway isn't very wide here, so make sure you keep your shots to the right side of the fairway. Your ball will definitely want to roll to the left. The putting surface is perched right out there in the open, so make sure you bring your approach shot in high and hard. You definitely don't want it to roll out of contention. Fairway Faraday, he should be happy with this one. Be the number. Where's the break? This putt for par. Missed opportunity there. Drops back a shot with bogey there. The demanding ninth hole is well known for the solitary trees positioned dramatically along this par four fairway. Water is a big factor here, so make sure you are accurate with your tee shot. Keep your approach shot left to avoid the water on the right side of this tiny green. Didn't get all of it, but it's not a terrible shot. Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. That's drained, baby. This stunning par four is a dog leg to the right. Make sure your tee shot is well placed down this narrow fairway. Your approach shot must carry the water to this tiny green that is well protected by bunkers. Birdies aren't unheard of here if you have the skills. He just made a statement with that swing. Congratulations. Here's 
the 11th demands a well-placed short iron shot to carry over the water to this green. The water will surely swallow any misfires to the front of the putting surface. Fight! What a shot. Bite. Drive your ball straight uphill between the twin mounds on either side of the fairway. The approach shot is downhill to a putting surface protected by bunkers on both sides. The undulating green slopes from front right to back left. He's got to like this shot. I've walked this one off, 140 yards to the hole. Come on. Tiger for par. A terrific par save. The fairway on this stunning par 5 winds through natural rock formations towards an elevated green. Players will be tested to their limits in their ability to maneuver through this difficult hole. Bunkers abound left and right all around the course. The green is long and narrow with bunkers protecting it on three sides. The green has an ever so slight slope. He's got all of that one, just crushed it down the fairway. Yes! Now I think old stripey head cover might come off here. We're right about, well, it's gotta be close to 300 yards. Come on, Tiger. Should be making a safe landing on the green. That'll do it. The 14th hole is a lengthy and challenging par four that dog legs to the right. 
The numerous bungles and signature trees offer a scenic backdrop for the golfer. The approach shots are uphill to a green well guarded by water to the right and to the rear. This is exactly what he was trying to do here. Down, down! Tried hard to stay in the short stuff, but alas, it didn't make it. Just sneaked over the sidelines here into the first cutter rough. Not too bad. Get tight. Woods would like to make par on this hole. That's a great up and down for par. The 15th hole is a difficult par four. As beautiful as it is potentially treacherous, while relatively long, this hole will probably see more bogeys than birdies. You can be aggressive on your approach shot, as missing long over the green is not that bad. This is a monstrous drive. Get all over it. Unbelievable. This is a birdie putt. Nice putt for birdie. Impressive work. The 16th hole is par three with wind usually a factor. Better to lay up off the tee to this wide green. If you go over the green, you are dead as the canyon is out of play. Get birdie on this hole and you'll set a new birdie record. Incredible shot. That's one for the scrapbook. That's what you want. Nice birdie. New birdie, birdie, birdie. The 17th hole is a par four that plays along a stunning and massive rock formation. Keep your shots along the left side of the fairway and out of the water. This green was once very flat, but recently it's been raised and contoured to make it considerably more difficult. One more little tweeter on this hole and you'll hold the record for most in a round. Yes! Well, you'd like to be a little closer than this, Gary. About 180 yards left. Come on.
Tiger Woods for par. Straight to the bottom of the cup here. Solid par. You really couldn't ask for a more stunning finish to this course. This is a dramatic hole played along the ocean with cliffs along the left of the fairway as you work your way towards the green. The green is well protected by water, so avoid it. You can't hit out of that. Concentrate now, you could set a new birdie record here. Should have a good chance from there. It's on the green, but there's still some work to be done here. Here we go for Eagle. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score. Welcome to Central Park, a course constructed right in the heart of one of the world's finest cities. This is Gary McCord for EA Sports. David Ferdy is on the course with us today and will be following the players. So let's send it down to the first tee. David, here's a good looking shot. I've walked this one off, 140 yards to the hole. That'll be in good shape. Not dead on the stick by any means, but uh, made the green. It's respectable. No little slider here. This one breaks big time left to right. Oh God, I admire you. Hole two is a tough tee shot with water all down the left side of the fairway. The player must choose whether to bomb it over the bunker or play it safe to the right. The second shot is a long iron into a green that slopes hard to the left. This should find the green. That's a good shot. 
This is for Birdie. Will it get there? Strokes in that birdie putt to go two under. The third hole at Central Park brings a body of water called the pool into play. In addition to the bunker guarding the right side of the green, which features a small landing area. Watch out for the false front on this green as shots can spin back into the water. Bite. Not shabby, not a great shot, but we're putting. This will make it three straight birdies. Nothing fancy here. A very straight putt. Knocks it in to go three under. The par five fourth hole is a dog leg left with options off the tee. Players must choose to play it safe to the right or try and draw it around the corner. The fairway is lined with trees and there is an accessible layup area for the second shot. The green runs away from the player and is guarded by a lake to the right and bunkers all along the left. This could be trouble. Be right. Would have liked this one much closer. Hey now, this would be four straight birdies. Not even close. Can still save par by making this one. Fantastic putt, makes his par. The fifth hole is a short par three to a green with a very small landing area. All four sides of the green slope off into bunkers and pen placement can be a real issue here. Should be in good shape after this. Looking to walk away with birdie on this hole. Nothing is automatic, but this looks makeable. Very nice indeed. With water along the left side and a large hazard to the right of the fairway, the sixth hole at Central Park is tight for an aggressive line off the tee, but provides ample space for the player to lay up. The green wraps around a large bunker with a tear in the back left corner. Take my word for it, that's a great tee shot. I just had a walk up this one, and uh, it's about 160, I think. The 
Wood seems to be up to the challenge of making birdie here, Gary. Note to self, don't leave this short. There's a birdie to take it to five under. This beautiful par five tees off across the water. The player has an option to lay up left in the fairway or go straight for the green and risk the hazard in front. The relatively flat green is guarded by bunkers on both sides. Looks to be safely in the fairway. I think old stripey head cover might come off here. We're right about, well, this got to be close to 300 yards. Where's the break? Yeah, right on, I want to say about 100 yards. Nicely played. Sit back and enjoy this one. Oh, what a shot! Tiger Woods for birdie. Got to be happy with that birdie. Got to be happy with any birdie. Two large bunkers guard the left side of the fairway on hole eight. With a steep incline of deep rough separating the two fairway sections, the choice off the tee is to either lay up or drive it to the second fairway. The second shot is uphill to an undulated green that falls off in every direction. this for four straight birdies. Let's see what happens on this expedition. That's a misread and a mishit all in one. This is a bogey attempt. Maybe I'll start focusing better after that bogey. The first portion of hole nine is covered in a canopy of trees, so watch your tee shot height. The approach is uphill to the street and downhill to a smaller green guarded by just a few small bunkers. in your dreams. Be able to make birdie here. 
A good golfer will make this putt more often than not. It's in! A hazard separates the fairway on this par five into two sections. Going for the green in two presents a long shot over the pond into an unreceptive green. With a major fall off to the left and to the rear, this is one of the tougher greens on the course. He's just blasted this ball down the center. Just a touch under two bills here, a tough shot. On the green and two. This isn't out of your range. You can do it. Sinks it for an eagle. Hey! This long par three is over water, so don't come up short because the ball will roll back and get wet. Putting is at a premium on this three-tier green, which is guarded by two bunkers in the back. This should be on the green. That'll do it. Tiger on the hunt for birdie here. Cashes that one in. The smart play on hole 12 is to hit a tee shot towards the end of the first fairway, followed by a wedge to the green. An aggressive player will try and carry it to the second part of the fairway and then use the hill to reach the green from the tee. The guarded green slopes away from the player. Oh, he's got all that one. Just crushed it down the fairway. Whoa, miracles do occur. This for four straight birdies. Don't let this putt get in your head. There's no room. Got the birdie. Many players will hit iron off the 13th tee and lay up short of the fairway bunker. Driving the green will require the player to either fly it to the putting surface or use the hill 30 yards short of the green to avoid the fall off into a big bunker on the left hand side. Impressive work. This 
for an eagle too. Look for some movement here. Are you serious? Beautifully done. The 14th hole at Central Park features a river running along the front and left side of the green. Bunkers guard the front right and back left of this tough green. Not to psych you out, but one more green in regulation, and you've got yourself a new record. A birdie here, and you'll set the record for most birdies in a round. Tiger Woods for birdie. That's your birdie. Impressive work. Have Six birdie. The tee shot at 15 is over water with ample trees and rough down the right side of the fairway. The approach shot plays back across water to a tricky green. Make sure to choose the right distances or you could find yourself in big trouble. Concentrate now, you could set a new birdie record here. yards the hole here, Gary. Long putt coming up from here. This would be seven straight birdies if it goes in. Oh, I'm weeping down here. That's so good. This par four features a tee shot across the water to a small fairway bordered by a bunker. The approach shot is to an island green that is thin, front to back, with little room for error. There is also a false front on the front right and back left of this green. It's a real test trying to hit the green from here. You gonna pass or fail? I couldn't have played this any better myself. Tiger Woods for Eagle. Now that's what you call being on target. Players will tee off at the dogleg left 17th to a fairway with bunkers on either side. The second shot is uphill to a small green perched way above the fairway. With a bunker guarding the front left of this green, pin placement can be tough. Get birdie on this hole and you'll set a new birdie record. He might want to bury his head in the sand after this one. Well, this is a problem, isn't it? Bad news, McCord. This one went diving and it stuck hard in there with a lot of sand on top of it.
Incredible shot. That's one for the scrapbook. Just a little top end here. Way to make par there. The 18th is the signature hole at Central Park. Bust your tee shot between the fairway bunkers if you dare. The skinny island green isn't receptive to shots with fairway woods, so you may want to lay up on the plateau 100 yards from the green along the right side. Any shot at this green will be a challenge. Good luck. Find a way to eagle this hole and you'll hold the record for most eagles in a round. This is hit very well. I'd say a little over 210 yards to the flag from here. A chance for Eagle after a remarkable shot. Woods looking to knock this in for Eagle. What an Eagle! Impressive work. Have a trophy ball. That's a nice under par round. You've earned a trophy ball for this score. It's not easy to score under 60. Congratulations on a great score.